Five of the seven farm workers killed in the Half Moon Bay shooting were Chinese. And tonight, several Asian Pacific Islander community groups are launching a GoFundMe page to help the families of all victims. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn has that story. It's been a struggle to learn more about the Chinese farm workers killed in Half Moon Bay. We're just learning about the names. We knew that um, one of the things that was difficult was um, finding their next of kin because of the fact that they are a migrant uh, workforce. Five of the farm workers killed were Chinese. The oldest was 73, the youngest 43. Cynthia Che is with the Chinese for Affirmative Action. Her group plans to meet with San Mateo City and County authorities to try and help the Asian farm workers. CAA and several other community groups just set up a GoFundMe page. These are individuals who are traumatized, are in shock. They have been displaced from their homes. We still don't know anything about the Chinese employees, how long they've been at the farm or where their families live. I think that raises some additional questions. We still don't know what the immigration status is of all the folks involved might have been, how that might have interplayed with, with people feeling vulnerable. Some argue it's very rare to have Chinese origin workers in the agricultural industry. We checked with farm worker justice. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, California has as many as 800,000 farm workers, and less than 1% of the workers surveyed reported that they were of Asian descent. But Che says the U.S. has a history of Asian farm workers. Especially in California, this is largely an invisible population. And when we think of farm workers, um, very rarely do people think of Asian uh, farm workers or farm workers of Asian descent. AAPI community groups say it's going to take a lot of work to help people heal. Organization of Chinese American San Mateo chapter released this statement today, quote, we need to work together to address the violence and mental health issues in our communities. Our community has endured so much during the course of the pandemic, and this tragedy is shattering for our community. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.